What's up everyone? Just wanted to hop on and yak at you for a second. Uh, so I ordered some ingredients from Austin Homebrew Supply and uh, it, they used to ship this stuff out and get it to me like within about two days, three days. But uh, that kind of lacks. I don't know what's going on. If they're just not paying for like these priority type shipping with UPS anymore or whatever. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I came out a winner in this gig at the end of the day. Uh, they're actually shipping me a replacement package and I'll tell you why. Um, so the package came today because it's supposed to. And uh, has my address on it and everything. But... They didn't, they gave me somebody else's order, right? So I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what I ordered and I'll show you what I got. And uh, I did reach out to them and they've, they've always been great as far as like fixing their mistake. Um, and I always end up on top, like this is the second time this has happened and uh, I end up with free beer stuff <laughs> out of this. And it's not even on purpose. I am an honest person. I even told them I'd ship it back. They said that there's perishables, they can't receive them back. Just to enjoy so uh, I mean yeah I'm the beneficiary of these mistakes but uh, here's what I ordered and I'll show you what I got um, I ordered a half inch inside diameter siphon hose and I also ordered a new racking cane for my wine I ordered their hoppy winter ale uh, mini mash kit for doing a stovetop brew on the stove with my claw hammer system and then uh, I also ordered their all grain uh, two-step Pilsner or, or step two Pilsner, I should say. Uh, and so I should have gotten like several hot pellet packs, uh, some LME for the mini mash beer kit. And then uh, I should have gotten two different yeasts. And so that's, I should have gotten <laughs> two beer kits and a siphon hose or a racking cane with a hose, I should say. Here's what I got. So I ended up with uh, four five pound uh, jugs of malt extract, pale malt extract. So I got 20 pounds of pale malt extract and they told me to keep it, but I got, I got four of these here. And if you'll notice something interesting, I ordered from Austin Homebrew Supply. If you look, I knew this already. It says, Adventures in Homebrewing. What does that mean? Well, Adventures in Homebrewing, Austin Homebrew Supply, and Midwest Supply, they're all the same company now. They all like, they're part of the same conglomerate. Um, which I knew this already, you know, I wasn't going in for the local support thing anymore at this point. <laughs> because everybody's buying everybody. But, uh, they sent me, um, a Yingling Porter grain kit so i will make this might as well i'm not gonna let it go to waste right that's good beer right there um and they also sent me this uh ying yingling uh lager recipe all right there so yeah i'm not gonna let it go to waste they told me to keep it or throw it out and i said you guys are great i said i told the guys clearly i'm not gonna throw this out i'm making beer with it and they sent me this uh, beer stone remover. They sent me two bottles of it. Like I said, guys, I did not order this. Somebody's order, somebody's got my order and I've got theirs. <laughs> and some IO Star uh, sanitizer. This is a lot of sanitizer. <laughs> um, this is a lot of sanitizer. I mean, look at this. I mean, the bottle's huge. This is a, uh, uh, this is a 32 ounce bottle. I usually buy like the 16 ounce, like it's, it's smaller than this. This is iodine based sanitizer. For those that don't know what this is, this is a five star product. I actually am a very big fan of the five star brand uh, of products. I mean, I use star sand, I use iodine, uh, iostar, and uh, the iostar is good. The other thing is the star sand is kind of like an immediate kill on bacteria and all the baddies that you gotta wanna avoid when you're making beer. This, uh, you gotta let the, con the surface be contacted by this stuff for a few minutes before you can consider it like uh, sterile. But <clears throat> yeah, I mean, so they're sending me, <laughs> they're sending me what I should have got. And then I got some poor saps stuff here and they're gonna have to send that person 
that order again, man, I'm, companies love losing money these days, man. I don't even know if they're really losing money. I mean, shoot, Amazon, like for instance, uh, Amazon was supposed to, I was supposed to get a fireplace insert, like an electric fireplace insert for like this custom electric fireplace build I'm gonna do in my office. We do have a regular natural gas fireplace that I love, but I also wanted one in my office, like from the days that I work from home. Uh, I want to be able to like just, you know, in the wintertime, just kind of set the mood, hang out, listen to my music, do some data analysis stuff, whatever. Um, <clears throat> I have a very chill atmosphere in my uh, office, so I'm just adding the fireplace. But that didn't come. And, uh, USPS said they delivered it in some parcel locker. This thing's 40 inches wide. They're not fitting it in any locker, so I don't know where that went. That's my rant. That's enough of my rant for the uh, post office. But I'll take you, you want to see what the box looks like? <laughs> From uh, UPS delivered my beer stuff in. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if anything fell out of this box, but this box, it looks like Ace Ventura got a hold of it and just kicked it down the street. <laughs> there's a hole, there's a hole in the, there's a hole in there, so. I'm pretty sure some stuff probably fell out. I don't know, maybe a hops or two. I don't know. I don't know what was in the original order uh, for this, but I did end up with some bonus pale malt extract here that I can do some stovetop brews. I mean, you only like <clears throat> 10 pounds of pale malt extract is a lot of malt extract just in one beer, I think. Uh, usually you do like five to six pounds in a brew. So this right here could be one beer in itself and add some specialty grains on top of it and you know, whatever hops and you're good, you know? And when I ordered all those beer ingredients, I, I forgot that I have another beer kit to do. It's not a beer kit. I, it's a clone brews beer that I meant to brew, like brew and shoot the video for and post like a year ago. But it's an all grain batch of beer. My hops are in the freezer. The yeast is in the fridge. I'm not really worried about this beer not being as good. Uh, <clears throat> consider I'm, um, consider I'm using like hot pellets anyways that are dehydrated and stuff. Uh, so, so I got the doggy style, doggy style IPA uh, clone brew still to do for you guys. But I just want to hop on here for a second and just show you the debacle that is, uh, Austin homebrew supply. Like I said, top, top notch customer service, but, uh, the execution part of like getting the product to me and getting the right product to me, uh, has been a couple of, uh, follies there as far as that goes, but they are going to make it right. They're shipping out a new package tomorrow. And at the end of the day, I win because now I've got two or three, four, probably potentially four extra beers worth of ingredients here to use. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Just wanted to shout at you guys for a minute. Uh, I got some cook videos coming up here soon. I'm gonna try to do some beer can burgers again on the uh, SNS Kamado. I'll be videoing that this upcoming weekend and getting that out the door for you here real soon. I did that uh, beer can burgers video a while back, but I can do a much better job this round. So cheers. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Free beer ingredients, essentially, uh, and a whole lot of patience on my end. Uh, oh, the funny thing is, too, they did send me the tubing that I ordered. I don't know if the other per the other person must have ordered tubing too, but this was actually the half inch inside diameter uh, tubing for my racking cane. Uh, so yeah, but I gotta get this wine transferred regardless, like ASAP, because it's been sitting in primary for couple of days longer than I want. And it's not gonna hurt it to sit in there. It's already fermented, but I needed, I do need to move it to the secondary fermenter to help clear it up, degas, etc. But that's all I got. I'll see you here soon. Cheers. And subscribe.